Hello guys, welcome to our channel Retro Lads Creation. We are here again with an educational animated video. In this video we will be discussing about biodiversity and conservation of nature. In our planet it's very hard to believe that we have more than 20,000 species of ants, 3 lakh species of beetles, 28,000 species of fishes and 20,000 species of orchids. Now let's see what our scientists think about biodiversity and what all solutions they have for you all. Why are there so many species? Did such great diversity exist throughout Earth's history? How did this diversification come about? How, and why is this diversity important to the biosphere? Would it function any differently if the diversity was much less? How do humans benefit from the diversity of life? Now let's find out the solutions for all of our queries step by step. You must be thinking what is biodiversity and what are its classifications. So. Let me clear your doubts. In our biosphere there are not only species but also all biological organisms ranging from macromolecules within cells to biomes. Biodiversity term was popularized by Edward Wilson. There are three levels of biodiversity namely. Genetic diversity, species diversity, ecological diversity. Now, let's discuss all the classifications of biodiversity in details. Firstly genetic diversity. Genetic diversity is the total number of genetic characteristics in the genetic makeup of a species. It ranges widely from the number of species to differences within species and can be attributed to the span of survival for a species. Secondly species diversity. Species diversity is defined as the number of species that live in a particular location. There are hundreds of bird species, more than 50 plant species, 10 to 20 animal species in a forest. Thirdly, ecological diversity. Ecological diversity is a type of biodiversity in which the variation in the ecosystems is found all over the whole planet. Biodiversity is important because it clears out our water, changes out climate, and provides us with food. Now, let's see how many species are there on Earth and how many in India. According to IUCN 2004, 1.5 million of plants and animals are in our biosphere. More than 70% of all the species recorded are animals. All plants constitute about 22%. Among animals insects constitute 70%. India has only 2.4% of the world's land area. Its share of global species diversity is 8.1%. India is considered one of the mega diversity countries of the world. Now. We are going to learn about the most important topic, Patterns of Biodiversity. This is the most well-defined and well-known pattern of biodiversity studies till date. According to this pattern, the species diversity follows a regular pattern as we move from the equator to the polar regions. The plant and animal diversity are observed to be maximum at the equator and it decreases as we move towards the poles. There might be an exception to a few species, but apart from that, it is a generally observed trend. We find species richness in plants and animals at the equator. India, located in the tropical regions, shows high species richness. However, the great Amazon rainforests show maximum biological diversity in terms of the number of species residing in that region. It is believed that in spite of being the region with the highest biodiversity, many species in Amazon are yet to be discovered and identified. The second pattern of biodiversity is species area relationship or species area curve, which describes the relationship between the area of a habitat, or of part of a habitat, and the number of species found within that area. Last but not the least, we are going to learn the causes for the loss of biodiversity and the methods to conserve it. Biodiversity conservation refers to the protection, upliftment, and management of biodiversity in order to derive sustainable benefits for present and future generations. Biodiversity conservation has three main objectives. To preserve the diversity of species. Sustainable utilization of species and ecosystem. To maintain life-supporting systems and essential ecological processes, biodiversity can be conserved in the following ways. In situ conservation and ex situ conservation. In situ conservation of biodiversity is the conservation of species within their natural habitat. In this method, the natural ecosystem is maintained and protected. 
Ex situ conservation of biodiversity involves the breeding and maintenance of endangered species in artificial ecosystems such as zoos, nurseries, botanical gardens, gene banks. There is less competition for food, water and space among the organisms. I hope you liked our video. If you liked it please subscribe our channel and set the bell notification to all for getting our future updates whenever we post a video.